today was uh, one of those days when i got to witness this uh, very contrasting uh, parts of my personality uh, parts that i didn't even know existed in me and uh, it all began when uh, nora this one participant in my group um, expressed her anger towards me and um, she'd expressed her anger on the back of uh, what seemed to me to be a very meaningful conversation between me and this other participant and there's this pattern that i've observed with nora that whenever uh, certain members in the group are having an intimate moment or if i am having an insightful conversation with somebody she tends to interrupt that by expressing her anger towards me which doesn't seem to be uh, relevant to what's really going on and uh, I just saw myself going quiet that day and uh, many participants in the group uh, kind of tried to logically reason with her and they said that they're not understanding her anger some participants even reached out to her with empathy and I saw Nora breaking down in the group and I really didn't know um, how to engage with her or what to tell her and all of this also happened at the tail end of the session so i really didn't have much time to process what was going on for me or to even reach out to her so after the call got over i was um, walking back from my clinic to home and i know that i just felt gripped by such um, intense sadness i had the sense of being uh, this pathetic facilitator who just can't handle people who are different than her and i just felt so shitty about myself because this has been such a repeated pattern between me and her and i had this sense of um, absolute dejection and i had the sense that maybe others could have handled the situation better and maybe i just don't have the skill sets to reach out to nora and i had this um, overwhelming sense that I am not okay and she is okay and everybody around me is okay. And as I came home um my husband and my son were at home and I just went and curled up in their arms and um as I was sharing with them what happened on my call I noticed a shift in my energy uh from what seemed like a very depressive state i suddenly saw myself um, experiencing this um, self righteous anger and it was very evident in the way i was describing nora i i said that she's like this perpetually angry woman i don't even know what she wants from her life and maybe this is what she does with everybody in her life and uh, if she has so many issues with me why does she not leave my group and um, after riding on my horse of self righteousness for a couple of minutes or maybe an hour i i felt this tiredness and i just uh, went off to bed and then for um, some reason my my sleep broke in the middle of the night and i saw myself um, having this um, palpitations and this unease and my mind was filled with thoughts about nora and i still was feeling anger towards her but it this anger was no longer self righteous i was feeling disgust and at the same time i also was feeling angry towards myself that what is it about me that you know i invite this kind of people in my life and how come participants in my group end up giving me trouble and this doesn't happen with anybody else and I am horrible and I just invite this horrible participants and um I was feeling a sense of hopelessness this part of me that was thinking that I just want to dissolve this group because uh, I didn't believe that anything was possible I didn't believe in my own goodness I didn't believe in um uh, Nora's goodness and 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 the sense that I had was that I am not okay and even the world is not okay and um somehow i managed to tuck myself to bed again and uh, the next day when i got up in the morning um i just went and sat in my balcony and and had my cup of chai and i saw myself um 
just feeling this um, immense tiredness and how parts of me were like so fed up of this repeated pattern with Nora and I recognized that my, my yearning really was for ease, my yearning was for connection and my yearning was to really find some ray of light, some way out of this uh, rupture that I've been with her for such a long time. And as I uh, empathized with myself and I was able to soothe my anxious body, I saw myself um, having this thought which really made me laugh. I had this thought that um, I'm sure uh, Nora doesn't get up in the morning and look at the mirror and devise strategies of, you know, muddling my life. Like just this acute awareness that she's not wanting to harass me or she doesn't have malice. Because each time I have seen her getting angry with me, she's always cried in the group. And I've really seen the extent of her, the extent and the intensity of her own pain. And so many times the group members have also expressed their frustration with her repeated anger towards me. This, this wave of tenderness that I felt towards her when I, when I was able to acknowledge that uh, she's also hurting and she, she's probably suffering as much as I am suffering in this rupture. And as I was holding these two parallel realities of Nora and myself in my heart, I saw myself um, wondering that what can I do um, differently? How can I invite her into a dialogic space with me? How can I lean into the group wisdom so that uh, you know, they can support us in mediating this conflict which doesn't seem to be ending at all? And uh, as, I, as I had all of these thoughts, I saw myself now you know, really looking forward to the next session with hope, and uh, faith and I saw myself, my energy being really open and in that moment I was um, also very amused when I looked at the last 24 hours that had passed by and this various parts that had showed up in my personality and um, I just had this uh, moment of insight uh, as I was uh, remembering uh, what uh, Eric Byrne spoke about uh, and he said that sometimes the stances that we take in life, especially during conflicts, are so deeply influenced uh, by the lens through which we are looking at the world. And this lens uh, connote, often connote our basic life positions and the sense of worthiness that we are seeing in ourselves and also in the world around us. Uh, so there are these uh, four basic life positions. I am not okay. You're okay. In this position, you just want to get away from people. The second is, I am okay, you're not okay. It's an angry position and you want to get rid of people. And then the third position is, um, I am not okay, you're not okay. It's a very hopeless position and you tend to go nowhere with people. And the last position is, um, I am okay you are okay, where you tend to get along with others, it's a happy position. While this uh, logical part of me completely gets uh, that how important it is to operate from the I am okay, you are okay position because that helps me to be in the self energy and it really makes me very functional in the relational domain. And yet, when conflict arises and yet when I'm triggered or uh, when I feel like somebody has scratched on my old wounds. I just go back to my dysfunctional patterns. And I, I do have this curiosity that how can I remind myself of pathways to coming back to the self energy and operating from the I am okay, you are okay position. And how can I really prevent myself from going into the dysfunctional patterns?